or wireless wireless connection. I don't believe it. <clears throat> yeah, what a beautiful day. Beautiful day, beautiful energies, beautiful people, beautiful healings, beautiful experiences. Whoo! I remember Master Choa saying, how did he word it? May you be blessed with inner and outer beauty. What's up, Matthew? Long time, son. Adbanamaste. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks, guys, for sharing. Uh, Jennifer, Adbanamaste. How are you? How are you? We're going to be starting in the next minute or so. So we're going to be talking about a little bit about psychic vampires and how to protect yourself, as well as we're going to do the live Twin Hearts meditation that we do each and every Tuesday night here on Facebook. If we weren't on Facebook, then we'd be doing it on YouTube or we'd be doing it on um, my website somewhere, somewhere where people can get value, some people, some place where people can get healing and help and guidance and lots of wonderful things that we're all seeking. Rashmi, Admanamaste, Admanamaste. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, we are at our time. We are at our time at 630 p.m. Mountain Time. We do this meditation every uh, every Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. Mountain Time, right now. And then we do it every Sunday at, a, uh, at 10 o'clock a.m. Mountain Time. So Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Ah, Diana, what's up? Um, and then uh, we do it Sunday at 10 o'clock a.m. Mountain Time. Tatiana, Abba Namaste. All right, if you guys want to join me for the invocation, be aware of your heart, be aware of your crown. Palms open in receptive position, or you can have your hands over the heart in prayer mudra. Either one works. <sighs> to the Supreme God, Divine Father, Divine Mother, invoke for of your connected to. To my respected and beloved teacher, Grandmaster Cho Kuk Sui, to his teacher, Lord Bodhisattva Meiling, to Lord Buddha Kuan Yin. To all the great, great ones, to the holy gurus, holy masters, saints, archangels, holy angels, to the healing angels, to our divine selves, our higher souls, we humbly invoke for your divine light, divine love, divine power, for your healing energies on all levels without exception. We ask that this Twin Hearts meditation be filled with tremendous light, love, and power. We ask for group, group energies, group harmony, group bliss, group service. We ask to be instruments of goodwill and the will to do good. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you all. In full faith, so be it, so be it, and so it is. Thank you. All right. Welcome to the Twin Hearts Meditation. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, we do every Tuesday night at 6.30 p.m. And then I, hey, Ava, Atma Namaste. And then I head out the door to go, um, to go dancing, dance instruction. I think we're on week number... Five, if uh, my memory serves me correctly, the fifth week of 12 weeks. And so this past weekend, one of the senior pranic healers came in from Madison, Wisconsin to come to Denver and to teach three different classes. Chan Don is the instructor. And he ended up teaching um, Achieving Oneness with the Higher Soul, which is my favorite class, pretty much of all the classes in pranic healing. Um, pranic crystal healing on how to use crystals to using your healing practice or your day-to-day -day life. And then lastly, psychic self-defense for home and office or pranic psychic self-defense for home and office. And so that was the last class that I did yesterday. It was like 12 and a half hour long class. A lot of content, a lot of information. And this book, basically, so most of Grandmaster Cho Kuksui's classes, the founder of Pranic Healing and Arhatic Yoga, most of his classes have a book connected to it and a book connected to the class. So this is the book that is connected to that class. So we've always heard the term psychic vampires, people that you hang around with for like five or 10 minutes. And when you leave them, if you're able to, you have a tendency not to feel super uplifted, positive, and enthusiastic. You more, more so have a tendency of feeling depleted, drained, exhausted, and you're like questioning why you even spent the 10 minutes with that person. So that would be an example of a psychic vampire. But that's just on an etheric level. So we have our physical body and then our etheric body, which is the next, um, the least, um, the lesser dense body. It's like the blueprint of our physical body. So that's the etheric body. When you feel drained, 
talking with somebody, it's typically the etheric body that is being affected. But we also have other kinds of bodies. We have a physical body, we have an etheric body, we have an emotional body where we have our emotions, we have a mental body where we have our thoughts and ideas and concepts. We also have a spiritual or causal body. So in this class, you're taught how to shield or protect your different bodies, which I think would be super, super beneficial to each and every person who's watching this live right now. And hey, Megan, Abba Namaste, who's watching this live and who's watching the replay. So, so people who drain you physically, who are very depressed, who need a lot of energy, they create a subconscious cord or connection from you or from them to you and then they draw energy from you. It's not that they're mean, it's not that they're malicious, it's not like they're out to get you, it's just the tendency of how we work as human beings. We connect, hey Heather, Atma Namaste, we connect to bigger bodies and bigger sources of energy for energy, right? So it's kind of like as a kid, you connect to your parents because your parents are around you all the time and they're your biggest source of energy. So you're always pulling from them. That's why parents sometimes feel like exhausted spending time with their kids when they're really, really little because they're always pulling energy, right? So that's on an etheric level. But what about emotionally? What if you could shield yourself from negative emotions? Stress, hey, Sangeeta, Atma Namaste. What if you could shield yourself from negative emotions like stress, anxiety, anger, depression, rage, wouldn't that be beneficial in your day-to-day -day life? Um, that's interesting. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm getting text messages as I'm doing the live stream. And then, um, what's the other factor? What about mentally? What about shielding yourself from mental influences? People that are trying to criticize you, judge you, critique you, um, maybe lead you on a different path that might not be in your highest, best interest, right? So shielding yourself mentally. And then what about spiritually? What's up, Sean? What about shielding yourself spiritually? Because the path, there are many, many, many paths to God, but there's one specifically designed for you, and you want to be able to plug into the right path for your own growth and development on an accelerated level. So shielding yourself spiritually can protect you from being negatively influenced or knocked off your path. Does that make sense? So in this class, again, showing the book, I'm always promoting pranic healing, you guys know that. This class, Pranic Psychic Self-Defense for Home and Office, teaches you the tools, the techniques, the strategies, the thought process on how to shield yourself physically, etherically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and even how to shield, what's up, Laura? And even um, how to shield yourself, your, your belongings, your car, your house, your um, valuables. Hortensia, Adma Namaste, long time. Jessica, Adma Namaste, welcome, 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 okay? So it's a phenomenal class. I've, I think I've taken this class maybe four times over the past 13 years, and it's been a beautiful experience. Elmer, Elmer wants to join. All right, get after it. Join, Elmer. It's all you, son. Okay, so that's a little promo on that class, which Chan Don, the senior pranic killing instructor, came from Madison, Wisconsin to Denver, and he was here for three days teaching Achieving Oneness with the Higher Soul, Pranic Crystal Healing, and Pranic Psychic Self-Defense for Home and Office. Beautiful classes, and one of 20 you heard that correctly, one of 20 different classes that are taught in pranic healing on how to use energy healing principles, practices, methodologies to improve every conceivable area of your life from your physical health, your emotional, your relationship, your financial, your career goals, your spiritual growth and development. And this is what I do professionally and have been doing professionally for the past 13 years. It's an honor to share these teachings with you guys for those who are ready, willing, and receptive to receive them. What's up, Ray? Atma Namaste. So tonight, we're gonna do the Twin Hearts Meditation. Now, if you've never meditated before, this meditation is for you. If you've meditated every day for the past three decades, this meditation is for you. Because within the simplicity of this meditation, there's a very, very, deep, rich history behind it that you can benefit from. So 
The Twin Hearts Meditation was developed by Grandmaster Cho Kuksui about 30 years ago in the Philippines. The meditation is designed to activate two major energy centers in the body. The first one being the heart chakra. What's up, Ray? Have you seen the video from India supposedly debunking a pranic healer? No. Ray, if you can tag me on that, that would be great. Linda, Atma Namaste. So as the heart chakra becomes activated, your love for your friends and your family members increases. Who doesn't want to have more love for their friends and their family members? So imagine like the person in your life that you love the most. Think of one person, the person. I'd be interested to know how. Yeah, definitely. Send me the link. Be aware of the one person that is, brings the most amount of love and happiness into your life, right? Do you have that one person? Thanks, Ray. You have that one person? Now, I want you to tap in to the energy deeper, feel the love you have for that person, the sweetness, the tenderness, the bliss, the joy. It's okay. Tap into it. Good. Keep going, guys. Tap into the love that you have for that person. It feels good, right? It feels maybe warm, tingling, <sighs> maybe soothing, calming, right? It's a beautiful experience. Now, imagine if you had that love for every person in your life, every friend, every family member, right? Every coworker, employee, vendor, supplier, cashier at the Starbucks that you see regularly, the cashier at the grocery store that you see regularly. Imagine that, imagine that love for all of those people. What would your life look like if you experienced that from a, from a person to person to person to person experience? It would be phenomenal, right? So that's what the Twin Hearts Meditation helps, activating the heart chakra. Now, the other main center that it helps activate is the crown chakra on top of the head. The crown chakra. This in Sanskrit is called the Sasrahara or the Thousand Petal Lotus. The Thousand Petal Lotus. And that is uh, Marina Atma Namaste. So this is the so this is the human heart and this is the divine heart, the heart in love we have for God and all sentient beings. Those people who we will never meet and have never seen, but we want to bless them. So you cannot sufficiently activate your crown chakra, divine love, without first activating the heart chakra, um, human love, love for our friends and our family members. Does that make sense? So we're gonna be able to experience that tonight as a group, which is awesome. And just a little nugget for each and every one of you, seven people, seven people meditating together at one time, which is what we're doing tonight, is equivalent of the amount of energy that it generates of 100 people meditating by themselves. So seven of us, and there's a lot more than seven of us on this stream right now, seven of us meditating at one time generates as much, if not more energy than 100 people meditating by themselves. How powerful is that? So that's the, that's the testimonial, if you will, to the power of group meditation. Whether we're sitting in person or we're scattered all over the world with the intention of coming together to meditate at the same time. Does that make sense? Awesome. So, the meditation format is super, super simple. What's up, Chilia? Abba Namaste. The meditation format is super, super simple. We do some physical exercises that are easy. We do some breathing exercises that are also easy. And then we do the Twin Hearts Meditation. And tonight, we'll be doing Grandmaster Cho Kuk Sui's version. So that's my teacher behind me, Arun Atma Namaste. That's Grandmaster Cho. He is my teacher, and he has been my teacher for at least 13 years, helping me become a better healer, a better empath, a better clairvoyant, <clears throat> a better servant of God. And I know I use the God word. Keep in mind, guys, when we refer to God, we're not talking about a big man with a long white beard sitting on a cloud in the sky. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about an all permeating consciousness that is in every particle of our beingness, inside and outside. So God is everywhere. It's kind of like if you had a sponge and you put the sponge in water. What's up, Barbara? You put the sponge in water. 
Is the water in the sponge or is the sponge in the water? The sponge, per the water permeates the sponge, so it's inside and outside. So that's like God. Tup chon da, atma namaste. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing tonight. Physical exercises, breathing exercises, the Twin Hearts meditation, which is 20 minutes long. And I can promise you, this is my little guarantee to each and every one of you who are watching right now. By the end of this less than an hour, it goes by like that. By the end of this, you will be physically empowered, emotionally calm, mentally alert, and spiritually fed. I promise you. That's my promise. A lot of people don't like to make promises. I like to make promises because I've been doing this work long enough and I know the results that people get. Okay, what's up Paula, Atma Namaste. So, the meditation itself is very simple. We be aware of our heart. Think of a happy event that makes you smile. It can be real, it can be imaginary. Then, be aware of your crown. Think of a happy event. It can be real or it can be imaginary. That helps activate the heart, activate the crown. Then, we're gonna be raising our hands in a blessing position or blessing mudra. This simply means we don't have our hands like this, 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 we have our hands facing outwards. And we imagine a little tiny earth in front of us, the size of this speaker. You see the speaker, guys? The little fat, chunky speaker, see it? So we have the earth the size of, of that speaker in front of us and we raise our hands in a blessing position. And we're going to be blessing Mother Earth through our hands, through the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi. Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Wherever there is hatred, let me sow love. Wherever there is injury, pardon. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is doubt, faith. We're gonna be using the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi. What's up, Kim? Atma Namaste. This is, this is not a religious meditation. This is not a Catholic meditation. It is the format that Grandmaster Cho uses in order to activate the heart, activate the crown, and cleanse out the energy body. Very powerful meditation. Fair? Awesome, okay? So that's what we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna be blessing Mother Earth through the heart, out the hands to the little earth, from the crown down the arms, out the hands to the little earth, then simultaneously, heart, crown, blessing the earth. Don't worry guys, this is all guided. I'm just giving you the quick outline. Then. We bring our hands into our laps, palms facing up like this. We picture a brilliant point of light above the head, a brilliant point of light above the head, right? By the way, I'm proud of you guys. Just a, a quick interjection. I'm proud of each and every one of you for logging into tonight's meditation because there are one million different things that you could be doing. But in my humble opinion, connecting to your higher soul and connecting to God is the greatest thing and most important thing that you can be doing with your life. So I wanna congratulate and applaud each and every one of you for logging in tonight. So picture a brilliant point of light above your head, bring your hands down, and you're gonna be hearing the mantra Om. The mantra Om. The most important part of the mantra is not the mantra itself, but it's the gap, the stillness, the space, in between each own. What's up, Lynette? Does that make sense? The gap. So we hear ohm, gap, be aware of the point of light. Ohm, gap, be aware of the point of light. You guys get the point. Then we're just gonna let go. You may go somewhere, you may see things, you may feel things. Who knows what's gonna happen? No promises. Meditate on the meditation. Do not meditate on the experience. That's it. Then we come back into our bodies, we move our hands, our fingers, our toes. I have about one or two announcements for you guys. And then you go about your merry way on Tuesday night, whatever you planned on doing before getting caught up in this amazing meditation. And then that's it. And you guys can private message me if you have questions, you wanna hire me for healing, to help you in some part of your life, whatever it is that you want, I'm here for you guys, okay? So that being said, let us do our physical ugh, exercises. So put me against the wall. Put me against the wall, right? Set me up, put the phone on the wall, put the laptop off to the side, move the desktop, and you wanna step away, step away from the computer. Step away 
and you want to make sure you have enough room to move like this and not hit anyone or anything, okay? So we're going to start with our exercises. So let's rotate the eyes. So look up, right, down, left, up, right, down, left, up 12 times. Big full circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now the opposite. Up, left, down, right, up, left, down, right, up. 12 times, big full circles, keep your head still. I notice a lot of people move their heads when they do their eye rolls. Keep your head still and only move your big, fat eyes. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now, Pranic Healing 101, sweep that energy from your eyes. So imagine the tips of your fingers have light coming out of them and you're just sweeping the congestion and flick it out the window. Sweep the congestion, flick it out the window. Excellent. Now, inhale through the nose, turn the head to the right. Exhale out the mouth, turn the head to the left 12 times. chin to your chest, inhale through the nose, bring the head back, exhale out the mouth, bring the head forward 12 times. If you feel a little dizzy, close your eyes, let the energy be assimilated. Good, good, good. Now we're gonna rotate the arms backwards, big full circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now forwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Don't forget to smile. And then have your arms into L's. Inhale to the right, exhale to the left. In the nose, out the mouth. In the nose, out the mouth. Be careful with your spine. Bring your hands towards your heart level. Same breathing, same movement. And then let your arms swing like a rag doll, lightly tapping your kidneys, breaking up any and all disease, congestion, congested energies. <sighs> Releasing all the stress from this week. Wait a minute, the week just started. Okay? Flick the energy down off to the sides of your feet. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Lock the elbows, rotate the wrists. Guys, it's okay to smile. If you're at home doing these exercises by yourself or with a friend or a family member opposite, it's okay to smile. We don't have to be so serious. I'm meditating. I'm obtaining enlightenment. I'm enjoying the process. Smile. Soften your energy. Have fun with it. Have fun with it. Be goofy. I would be playing music with you guys, but as we know, if I play music on Facebook, they block it. So I can't play music. Keep it straight back. Inhale through the nose. Open up your chest. Exhale out your mouth. Round the shoulders. How many times? 12 times. exercise for cleansing our spine okay and now put your hands on your hips rotate your hips to the right let me bring the camera down so you can see my movement in case you're new so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve opposite one two three four five six seven eight ten eleven twelve Awesome. Now we're going to do quarter squats just like this. Little bouncy movements. You want to be aware of the base of the spine and the soles of the feet. You're letting go of congestion in the lower chakras and you're absorbing fresh energy from the ground.
from Mother Earth. It doesn't matter if you're on the ground right now or in, your, in a hundred story building, you're still grounded and connected to Mother Earth. <sighs> Let's do another 25. One, two, three, four, five. Bring your feet together, hands on the knees, rotate to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Opposite, be aware of the backs of the knees. Three, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then kick out, Bruce Lee style. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Left leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then keep a straight foot or straight leg and rotate your foot to the right, two, three. Then the opposite. And then like you're stepping on the gas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Rotate to the Take the left foot, rotate it to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12. Opposite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then, like you're stepping on the gas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then shake, 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 shake. What's that noise? Hey, I have buttons in my back pocket and I didn't even know it. Shake, 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 shake. All right, good, good, good. You guys are so funny. All right, good. Now, sit back down wherever you are at. Sit back down. All right, so it doesn't matter if you're doing a twin hearts meditation in our Hatik yoga meditation or meditation from another school. You want to always do physical exercises before your meditation. What's up, Kasha? Atma Namaste. You always want to do physical exercises before your meditation because most of you are watching this right now at the end of a long day of work. Is your work environment stressful, yes or no? Does your work environment have negative thoughts, negative feelings from those around you? Yes or no? So we are like sponges, energetically speaking. We're constantly absorbing energy from our environment. So if you are swimming in an ocean of stress, you absorb the energy of stress, and then you try to sit and meditate, what are you meditating in? You're meditating in stress, right? So the reason we exercise from the top of our head to the soles of our feet is we're releasing congestion. We're releasing stress. What's up, Henry? So no matter what meditation you do, always move your physical body before you do the meditation. Now, we're going to do our breathing exercise or our pranayama, which is very, very powerful. By the way... What makes pranayama or breathing exercises powerful is the rhythm. Without the rhythm, the effect is not there. I'll say it again. Without the rhythm, the effect is not there. So it's very important to be on rhythm. So this pranayama does three main things primarily. Calms your emotions. And who doesn't want more calm emotions? Stills your mind. Who doesn't want a still mind? It expands your energy by 50% or more. Who doesn't want more energy? You see where I'm getting at with this? And then it gives you the opportunity to connect to the higher self. It gives you the opportunity to connect to the higher self. Where your intuition is. Where guidance is. Where clarity is. Super important, right? So the pranayama works like this. You inhale, hold. You exhale, hold. You inhale through the nose, hold. Exhale through the nose, hold. You inhale for a count of seven, hold for a count of one. Exhale for a count of seven, hold for a count of one. That's it. As you inhale, the belly goes out. As you exhale, the belly goes in. 
I will count for the group so you guys don't have to worry about the rhythm or when we're starting or anything like that. Okay, super easy. So again, inhale through the nose, hold, exhale through the nose, hold. For the first breath only, we're gonna exhale out the mouth, okay? Inhale, exhale. <sighs> Inhale through your nose. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold. Exhale through the nose. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold. Inhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, breathe normally. Be aware of the stillness. Be aware of the peace. Slowly open your eyes when ready. Hey, Prashant, up and namaste. So notice your state, not the state you're living in, your inner state. Notice your calm emotions, still mind. Do you feel it more energized than you did before you started? Okay, that's the power of pranayama. Do not overdo it. Do not overdo it, okay? So now, we're gonna do the Twin Hearts Meditation, which is beautiful. That is gonna be led by our teacher, or my teacher. I'm not saying he's your teacher. He might be your teacher, but my teacher, Grandmaster Cho Kuk Sui. If at any point in this 20 minute meditation you get lost, you're not quite sure what's going on, simply follow what I'm doing get back into the group energy and you'll be fine, okay? So I wish each and every one of you has a deep and profound transformative meditation and I will see you on the other side, so to speak. Love this meditation. Been doing it regularly for 13 years. It's amazing. What's up, Jen? Just in time for the meditation. This is Master Fa Kok Sui. Let us invoke for divine blessing. Supreme God, to my spiritual teacher, to all the spiritual teachers, holy masters, all the saints, holy angels,
spiritual helpers and all the great ones we humbly invoke for divine guidance divine love for illumination for divine oneness divine bliss divine help and divine protection we thank you in full faith Connect the thumb to your palate. Recall a happy event. Take your time. Re-experience the exquisite feeling of sweetness, of tenderness and of love. You are smiling. You are filled with love and happiness. Breathe gently and lovingly. Smile at your heart center. Your heart center is a being of love. Gently and lovingly smile at your heart. Say words of love and sweetness to your heart. Wait for the response. Can you feel your heart center responding with love, with joy and bliss? The feeling is fantastic. Recall another happy event. Re-experience this happy event. Smile at your crown center. Your crown center is a being of divine love. Say words of love to this being of divine love. Lovingly and gently smile at your crown center. Wait for the response. Can you feel your crown center responding with divine love and divine sweetness? We are going to bless the earth with loving kindness. We will be using the prayer of Saint Francis of Assisi. Raise your hand with your hand facing outward imagine the earth in front of you the size of a small ball be aware of your heart and silently repeat after me lord make me an instrument of your peace feel the inner peace within you allow yourself to be a channel for divine peace feel the peace within you let it flow through your arms through your hands Gently and lovingly share this peace with the small earth in front of you. Feel the peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Feel the love 
within you. Allow yourself to be a channel for divine love. Feel this love within you. Feel this love flowing from your heart to your arms and to your hands, going to the small earth in front of you. Bless the earth with peace and with love. Where there is injury, pardon. Allow yourself to be a channel for divine forgiveness, divine reconciliation. Bless the earth with the spirit of forgiveness, the spirit of reconciliation. Let there be understanding, harmony, and peace. Where there is despair, hope, doubt, faith. Allow yourself to be a channel for divine hope and divine faith. Bless the earth with hope and with faith. Bless people who are having a difficult time. Bless them with hope and with faith. Finally tell them, you can make it. Bless them with divine hope, with divine faith, with divine strength. Blessings be to all. For there is darkness, light, sadness, joy. Allow yourself to be a channel for divine light and divine joy. Bless the entire earth with light and joy, especially people who are sad, people who are in pain, people who are depressed. Fill them with light and joy. Be aware of your crown, the center of the crown. Imagine the small earth in front of you and silently repeat after me. From the heart of God, let the entire earth be blessed with loving kindness. Feel the divine love and the divine kindness. Let the entire earth be blessed with great joy and happiness, with understanding, harmony, and divine peace, with goodwill, and the will to do good. Imagine people are not only talking about doing something good, but actually acting out this goodness. Blessings be to all. We are worth your heart, your crown, Simultaneously, imagine the earth in front of you. From the heart of God, let the entire earth, let every person, every being, be blessed with divine love and kindness. Imagine golden light from your hands going down to the entire earth, filling the whole earth with light, with love. From the heart of God, 
let every person, every being be blessed with divine sweetness, with divine joy, with warmness, tenderness, with inner healing, with inner beauty, with divine bliss, divine oneness with all. Gently put your hands down Imagine a brilliant star on your crown. Look at it gently and lovingly. And silently chant the mantra Om. Lovingly meditate on the brilliant star And simultaneously chant the mantra Om. Be aware of the mantra Om. Meditate on the interval or stillness between the two Oms. While meditating on the interval or stillness between the two Oms, be aware of this brilliant light. At the interval between the two ohms, there is stillness. Be aware of the stillness and be lovingly aware of the brilliant star or the brilliant light on your crown. And let go. meditation, relax and let go.
body. Gently return to your body now. Gently move your fingers. Raise your hand on the chest level with your palms outward. Imagine the earth again. We are going to release the excess energy. Let the entire earth be blessed with divine light, divine love, and divine power. Let the whole earth be blessed with peace, order, spirituality, abundance, and prosperity. Let Every person, every being be blessed with happiness, with good health, with spirituality and abundance. Blessings be to all. Now gently be aware of the base of your spine and your feet. Imagine light going down into the earth. 3 meters or 10 feet. Silently say, Let Mother Earth be blessed with divine light, divine love, divine power. Let Mother Earth be blessed. Let Mother Earth be regenerated. Blessings be to Mother Earth. To the Supreme God, we thank you for your divine blessing to my spiritual teacher, all the spiritual teachers, holy masters, all the saints, holy angels, spiritual helpers, and all the great ones. We thank you all for your great, great blessings. Thank you. You may gently open your eyes with a big, big smile. Let's use this tremendous amount of energy that we generated in the group to bless our places of business, whether our, as business owners, blessing our business, or as employees, blessing the place that we work. Like really flood it with a lot of energy. So imagine a, real, a square box in front of you. Imagine your job your place of business or your business in the center of that little box. And we're gonna raise our hands again in the blessing position. Nina, Atma Namaste, Rakshit, Atma Namaste, Deepa, Atma Namaste, Gay, Atma Namaste, Ambi, Atma Namaste, Sherpa, Atma Namaste. And we're gonna bless these areas. And as I say, so be it, say so be it after me to further anchor and concretize these energies, okay? So again, be aware of the heart. Be aware of the crown, be aware of golden energy flowing out of the hands to this little box in front of you. With the blessings of God, with the blessings of Grandmaster Cho Kuk Sui and all the great, great ones, let each and every person's job, their location, the co-workers, their, the bosses, the management, be blessed with divine light, divine love, divine power. See your place of business, including your business, your employees, your suppliers, your vendors, your customers. See them being flooded and filled with so much divine light, divine love, lots and lots of love, lots of golden healing energies, and lots of intelligence. Just flood your place with divine light, love, power, and healing energies on all levels. See each and every person that you interact with at your work or your business be happy and joyful and healed and harmonious and progressive and growth orientated. See lots and lots and lots of awesome things happening, good thoughts, inspirational thoughts, good feelings, a place of contentment, 
really sends so much light, love, and power and healing energies to these areas. See them getting brighter and brighter. The environment is brighter. All the people connected to the environment are getting brighter and brighter and brighter. Really use the energy generated by today's group, as well as we're still kind of at the tail end of our full moon, which happened on Saturday morning. This really fills so much energy in that area. The blessings of God, the blessings of Grandmaster Toa Kuk Sui and the Great Ones, so be it. Now imagine an area in your life that needs a little extra boost of energy. It could be physical healing, emotional or relationship healing, it could be financial, it could be career, life's purpose, clarity, wisdom, it could be spiritual growth and development. Think of an area in your life that needs a little boost of energy because everything in it, life needs energy without exception. There are no exceptions to this rule. Without energy, nothing happens. So just imagine that part of your life right now. See it being flooded and filled with golden energy, getting brighter and brighter and brighter. Lots and lots and lots of energy is being poured into this part of your life. Keep going. Increase the energy level by 10 times now. See golden energy pouring out of your hands into this area. Keep going. There's plenty of energy. You're not going to run out of it. Go ahead. Good. With the blessings of God, the blessings of Grandmaster Toa Koksui, may each and every person's life be blessed with divine light, divine love, divine power, with healing energies on all levels without exception. So be it. So be it. So it is. Thank you. Hey Meg, what's up Mikan? What's going on? Ted, Abba Namaste. And come back to your bodies guys. Move your hand, your fingers, your feet, your toes. Come back into your bodies. And any feedback that you can provide would be wonderful. Type it in the comment section below. Let me know how your experience was. I appreciate sharing you sharing your time, your energy. I appreciate you being an instrument of goodwill and the will to do good, to help heal Mother Earth, all sentient beings connected to Mother Earth, which includes us. Keep in mind, now that you've done this meditation, even one time, every single human being you see from now until you leave the physical body, considering their age, you have blessed them in this meditation. Pretty powerful thought. You've blessed them in this meditation. You've blessed them with light, with love, with power, with healing energies, with compassion, with hope, with mercy. So Prashant says, Atma Namaste, great meditation, very blissful and powerful, beautiful. I love it, I love it, I love it. Good, good, good. Linda says, absolutely beautiful, love twin hearts. Who doesn't love twin hearts? Oh, wait a minute, the people who have never been introduced to it. Ah! Mini says, sir, it was awesome, golden energy everywhere. Yes. Yeah, there were a lot of beautiful things going on. Lilian, Atma Namaste. Lynette, thank you, it was peaceful. All credit to Grandmaster Cho Kuk Sui. I'm simply the instrument of the big guy. Um, so basically, simple announcement. Every Tuesday night at 6.30 p.m. Mountain Time and every Sunday afternoon at 10 o'clock a.m. Mountain Time, we do the Twin Hearts Meditation live right here on Facebook. Please feel free to share it with your friends and family members. Also, this coming January 1st, the first day of January, we're going to be starting a program that's 12 weeks long that will have group coaching and group healing and homework assignments to really, in a way, rocket boost your 2018. I've never offered a program like this before. I'm super excited about it. I'm working through the details. In the next week, we'll be doing a pre-launch. So anyone who takes advantage of the pre-launch, they'll be saving a considerable amount of money. Um, or you can pay full price on January 1st when we officially launch it. But it's going to be 12 weeks long, group coaching, group healing, and homework assignments on very interesting topics that I know you guys will love. So I'll be posting that on Facebook and other social media areas. Marina, Atma Namaste, such a blessing to become servants of God. It sure is. And then the other one is for those who are looking for one-on-one -on -one transformation with me, I offer a 10-week 
individual coaching and healing program called the Inner Transformation Package, which you can go to my website, christianrlong.com slash services. Go to the bottom of the page, Inner Transformation Package application. You fill out the application. I get it directly. I read through everything that you put in the application and then find out if it's worth you and I working together because we want to be on the same page and I want to help you transform your life and your health, your wealth, your relationships, and your spiritual growth and development. So that's on my website, christianrlong.com. You can check that out um, whenever. So then it says combined energy, awesome. Good. That's it, guys. Super easy. New group coaching and healing program at the start of the year. The inner transformation package that is any and all times that many people have taken advantage of and transformed their lives. That I keep forgetting I'm not putting the testimonials up on my website. I have a lot of testimonials, but not the recent testimonials. So when I get to it, I get to it. Um, if you have any other questions, comments, or challenges, feel free to private message me on Facebook. You can email me at christianrlong at gmail. Basically type in my name on Christian R. Long on Google and you'll find me for the first three pages, which I still have not figured out that when you type in Christian R. Long, it comes up with Justin Long's brother, the actor, Christian Long. I don't know what that's all about. I gotta talk to him about that and go, hey man, there can be only one Christian R. Long who does healing. What are you doing all over Google? So anyways, that's it guys. Thank you very much for sharing your energies. Feel free to share this um, recording with anyone else that you think would benefit from the Twin Hearts Meditation and let me know how it can be of assistance for you. Um, great job, uh, Lilian. My pleasure as always. Just an instrument of the teacher. Um, been doing this work for 13 years and it gets better and better and better every single month. So if you guys wanna join me in the Thanksgiving prayer, you put your hands on your heart and prayer mudra. <sighs> to the Supreme God, Divine Father, Divine Mother, invoke forever you're connected to. To my respect and the beloved teacher, Grandmaster Cho Kuksui, to his teacher, Lord Bodhisattva Meiling, to, to Lord Buddha Kuan Yin, to all the great, great ones, to the holy gurus, to the holy masters, to the saints, archangels, holy angels, and spirit helpers, to our divine selves, our higher souls, we thank you all for your great, great blessings and healing energies. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Thank you for allowing us to come together for group work, group harmony, and group service. We thank you in full faith. So be it, so be it, and so it is. Thank you. All right, guys. Love you very much, and I look forward to connecting with you tomorrow on some other live stream that we're doing. But this is it for the Twin Hearts Meditation on Tuesday, and I will catch you later. Atma namaste. Bye.